Well, hey guys, this is a video so I haven't really looked forward to make making, but I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to go back, uh, start off uh, with an article back January 18th in the Exponent Telegram. I'll read you the first three paragraphs. The city of Clarksburg is planning to undergo a forensic audit, giving officials and the public an in-depth look into the city finances over the past 10 years. According to Mayor Ryan Kennedy, the purpose of a forensic audit is to look back and give the administration some comfort that things that occurred in the past with city finances were legal and proper. We are not looking for anything specifically. As you might be aware, something there is never a shortage of in Clarksburg is rumors. There have been rumors for years that there have been improper things that have happened with city funds. Okay, so <clears throat> I read that um, just to demonstrate that uh, disgraced former mayor, um, the current mayor, and vice mayor, um, the people on the past uh, council were all very, very concerned um, that for years uh, squirrely things have been going on. They went out uh, and hired a forensic accountant, which is an accountant specifically trained to find fraud, track it, you know, uncover dirty dealings. Um, as you know, if you've been following me, I've been uh, since early July looking into the activities of our shadow committees in Clarksburg. And uh, it started uh, when I asked for the minute, for their minutes. I didn't expect there to be any minutes. Um, I just thought, you know, they'd say, okay, you're right. We'll start, we'll start keeping minutes from now on. That's not what happened. I got word that all those committees were indefinitely suspended. And the city manager said, I'll make sure that in the future, only the uh, formal members of the committees vote. And then uh, on my video, uh, one of our councilmen, you can guess who it is, came in and called me a douche and all this and that. And it just seemed like a lot of smoke for there not to be a fire. Um, so I worked with a, a attorney to submit a FOIA um, for the minutes, uh, for the bylaws, and uh, for the budget for the expenses of these committees. What I got back was that there were no minutes, uh, there were no bylaws, and uh, the expen uh, allegedly only the beautification committee had a budget and um, the, the, the list of expenses had uh, several line items that had no description, had a blank description field. And so she felt it was uh, proper to get invoices uh, for everything and, and try to, to find out exactly what that, that was spent on. And I said, hey, while you're at it, why don't you say um, for money spent at the advice of these committees? Because I had a feeling that they were... Uh, um, being sneaky and uh, uh, that there was money being spent out of other budgets and uh, so we did that and we got back uh, a budget for ring video cameras um, you know maybe you thought that Lowe's was giving uh, people ring video cameras at half price um, no they were given about 10 to 15 percent off for a bulk purchase and uh, the taxpayer Clarksburg was making up the difference um, and then found out that uh, the beautification committee expenses, a lot of it's actually been uh, charged against economic development. And in some cases, uh, uh, then Councilor Junkins, now Vice Mayor, uh, was making purchases uh, herself. And then, uh, you know, they appear to be flowers and stuff. I'm not saying there were anything really dirty going on there. But... Um, she was making purchases and billing it against economic development. You know, there's a lot of questions you can ask here, but there's there's a few things that are known. They're violating state meeting laws by not ha open meeting laws by not having minutes. Uh, they're violating city ordinances by not having uh, membership rosters and bylaws, and um, their budgets. Their playing show games with budgets and drawing from accounts. All this is to say that they're slippery. You know, uh, when they want credit for something, uh, CCA's doing it, or we're doing it, and when they want to distance themselves from something, the city manager did it, or, you know, but there really aren't these clear distinctions at all. I'll write you later.